Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So I am going to be talking about how I have gone gluten-free, and also I've cut out all the IBS food triggers. Um, I have IBSD, and so a lot of foods cause issues for my stomach, like bloating, gas, problems going to the bathroom, etc., stuff like that. So I have tried, for the past week exactly, I started last Tuesday, and today is Tuesday, I cut out all the trigger foods except for the only thing that I have cheated on is I do have a little bit of cheese every single day because I love cheese. It's really hard to cut out and so I've just, I have a very, very, very small amount every day. The only other time that I accidentally cheated was when I didn't realize that the meatballs had breadcrumbs in them and so I did have some meatballs with breadcrumbs in them but those are the only two times that I have cheated and one time was a complete accident but so I am down I did not do this to lose weight I did this to see how I feel because I'm constantly tired I'm constantly having stomach pains I constantly have a headache I just have a lot of health issues and they may not all be related to this but I was hoping to see how I felt cutting out all this stuff for a week and so I am down almost seven pounds I think like six and a half pounds in one week just from cutting out all of these foods and I, I the only thing I've noticed is that I'm exhausted I like wake up around like 8 39 and I can get up pretty good in the morning I'm still tired but by like 12 o'clock I'm ready to go back to bed again like I am exhausted and by like four o'clock in the afternoon I am like falling asleep it is just crazy and so I've noticed that I am exhausted which I don't know if that like if my iron's low because I have been anemic I don't know if my iron's low I don't know if there's other factors in it but I am exhausted I've also noticed that I'm not as hungry as I used to be I can eat like three small meals a day and be completely full so I don't know if it's like the inside of my stomach has kind of shrunk and gotten used to over this past week like not having a bunch of food and a bunch of carbs and a bunch of sugar every single day uh, which is good because now I'm not eating as much I'm still sticking to like my 1500 calories a day not on purpose that's just kind of what I've been eating was like 15 1600 calories a day um, I have not gone to the gym this week um, that was just pure coincidence I have been jam-packed so I have not had time or anything to really go to the gym this week I am gonna start this afternoon going to the gym every day so next week I will have an update on how I feel after a week of going to the gym and eating like this but um, like I said I'm down six and a half pounds um, I feel good I don't feel as bloated of course I got my period today so last night I was feeling very bloated but other than that like I haven't felt bloated I haven't really felt as sick to my stomach as I used to so I kind of feel good doing this I'm gonna continue to do this and I'm going to try and go 100% gluten free that's it because I do have a gluten intolerance so I'm gonna try and do that but as as far as like the other trigger foods are like as far as the other trigger foods go I'm going to slowly introduce back and see what does and doesn't affect me and what really is a trigger food for me because just because all these are a trigger food for another person doesn't mean that all of those are necessarily for me they could all be but I don't know what is and isn't so I'm gonna like slowly start to after maybe like a couple months of doing this I'm gonna like slowly start to introduce these foods again and see how I feel doing that but as far as this goes, that's kind of all the update I have. I'm going to try and do these. I may for the first like, couple weeks do every week, but then it may go to like once a month or something as I kind of get more into this and more used to it and kind of the same things happen. Like I don't want to update every week and it be like the exact same thing every week. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!